Mr. Chairman, last November 6, 2014, Mr. Manuel P. Mejorada submitted to this committee a complaint affidavit which he earlier filed with the Office of the Ombudsman containing allegations without any evidence against me, Secretary Rogelio Singson, Secretary Ramon Jimenez, as well as other officials and employees of the government and some in the private sector. According to the complaint affidavit, we purportedly mal committed malversation of public funds and plunder when we allegedly conspired, collaborated, cooperated in jacking up the cost of the Iloilo Convention Center. It is disheartening to witness relentless smear campaigns against a forthright project which aims to spur economic activities and generate jobs. It is lamentable to see vile attempts to discredit the good names of Secretary Singson, Secretary Jimenez, a, a, a well-known architect, William Coscaluela, and other government officials who, like myself, have nothing else to leave behind as legacy except our reputation. Nevertheless, Mr. Chairman, I welcome this investigation. While ironic, I find that the unfounded allegations of corruption may be a good opportunity for the public to know more about the Iloilo Convention Center and scrutinize every aspect of the project. With your indulgence, Mr. Chairman, please allow me to clarify certain matters to untangle the web of inaccuracies that have been woven regarding the Iloilo Convention Center. Sometime during the second quarter of 2012, the representatives of the Iloilo hotel industry told me that the hotel business in Iloilo has been suffering due to a very low overall occupancy. It was their consensus that a new business and economic center, such as a modern convention center that can play host to key international and domestic events would be a most welcome project to stimulate economic growth in Western Visayas. There was then a suggestion that the property being developed by Mega World Property Inc. at Barangay Manduriao, Iloilo City, the site of the old airport, would be an ideal site for a project such as a convention center of international standards. Thus, on the second, on, the, on July 3, 2012, together with several prominent citizens of Iloilo, I had a meeting with Mr. Andrew Tan, president of Mega World, to discuss the possibility of having a convention center in the Mega World project, in the Mega World complex. Mr. Tan immediately expressed support for the construction of a convention center and committed that Mega World was willing to donate an area in their complex with a proposed design for the project. On November 13, 2012, Mega World donated to the Department of Tourism a parcel of land with an area of 17,000 371 square meters. Under the deed of donation, the donor specifically required that the donated property be exclusively used for the construction of the Iloilo Convention Center and further imposed that Megaworld's conceptual design be used in the project. Upon acceptance of the terms of the deed of donation, the architectural and engineering design of the project prepared by W.V. Coscaluela and Associates was likewise donated to the government. Thus, the government did not spend anything for the land 
and the architectural services for the Iloilo Convention Center. I would like to underscore that Megaworld's choice of the architect is an essential requirement of the donation. And as I have mentioned earlier, the architectural and engineering design was donated to the government. The government did not spend a single centavo for this architectural and engineering design. The Department of Tourism, through TIESA, then entered into a memorandum of agreement with DPWH for the latter to be the lead agency to implement the project. The DPWH being the lead agency then prepared all the documentation and requirements for the bidding, award, and eventual implementation of the project. To set the record straight, I had nothing to do with the bidding for the project. I did not participate in the constitution of the bids and awards committee. I did not interfere in any matter with the bidding process, nor did I nominate or appoint the winning bidder. Secretary Singson can attest to that. I did not even know, nor did I have any interest in the identity of the winning bidder until I was informed by DPWH that the contract had already been awarded. Neither did I recommend any supplier or a single worker in the construction of the Iloilo Convention Center. The preparation, the conduct of the bidding, its award and its implementation was wholly undertaken by the DPWH and the Department of Tourism. I also vehemently deny the accusation that I caused the Iloilo Convention Center project to be overpriced. The ICC project is not overpriced. This is supported by the rigorous process and documentation of the DPWH, as verified and counter-checked by independent processes and documentation of the Department of Tourism, the TIESA. In fact, let me just highlight that I did not even participate in determining the approved budget for the ICC project, which is properly within the competence and implement of the implementing agency, the DPWH and the DOT in this case. Lastly, I strongly deny the baseless and malicious allegations that I plundered the coffers of government, that I malversed public funds, that I committed graft and corrupt acts in relation to the Iloilo Convention Center project. On the contrary, because of my initiative, the government through the Department of Tourism acquired for free through a donation a 17,371 square meter prime property worth at least 521 million for the ICC site. Today, the land this, the, being, the, the prices of the land in that area is at least 30,000 per square meter. So with this acquisition free through a donation of 17,371 square meter prime property, the government in fact became the beneficiary or became or uh, gained at least 521 million pesos. Reading through the complaint of David, Mr. Chairman, my accuser does not even state how I was supposed to have malversed or misused any public fund. All he has are unfounded, irresponsible, if not illogical conclusions. In fact, Mr. Mejorada, in his media statements, admitted that he has no evidence of wrongdoing in this project. In his interview with ANC's Ms. Karen Davila on November 5, 2014, Mr. Mejorada admitted that his allegations and insinuations of alleged kickbacks in the bidding, quote, would be hard to prove, close quote. That he has no evidence and that he has no, quote, access to documents that will show actual plunder, close quote. That is why he wants the Ombudsman to do evidence gathering for him. In his complaint affidavit and media statements, 
He has taken the, take, he has taken the liberty of besmirching my reputation for allegedly being involved in an anomalous project simply because the project is allegedly my brainchild. The use of the term brainchild may be imprecise, but I do not deny, and in fact I am proud to be associated with the Hilo Convention Center project. Mr. Chairman, throughout my career as a public servant, I have served with the highest degree of responsibility, integrity, loyalty, and competence. In my almost three decades of public service, I have continuously endeavored to keep my person and my honor unsolid. Pinag-iingatan ko po ang aking pangalan. In the span of 27 years in public service, I was able to spearhead several infrastructure projects, like the hundreds of courtrooms and halls of justice all over the country, which I built which were built when I was Secretary of Justice. 1,600 classrooms in all regions in the country at half the cost of similar structures were funded by my pork barrel in partnership with the Federation of the Filipino-Chinese Chamber of Commerce and Industry. The 6.5 billion peso Iloilo International Airport whose funding I worked on with JICA and many more. Despite the amounts involved in the construction of these projects, Mr. Chairman, I have never been called by the Ombudsman to respond to any allegation of corruption. I have never been charged in any court in the Sandigan Bayan with the commission of malversation of public funds or any act amounting to graft and corruption. In defense of my name, my honor, and my family, I specifically and categorically deny the baseless, speculative, malicious, wild allegations of Mr. Mejorada. I did not commit any wrongdoing in the construction of the Iloilo Convention Center. At this point, Mr. Chairman, allow me to state that considering the allegations against me, although malicious and patently baseless, it is to the interest of truth that I will inhibit from this investigation. It means I will not ask any question from any resource person. I will not participate in any committee caucuses in the crafting of the committee report. However, I will make myself available to answer questions after the opening statements of the resource persons I de are delivering. Wala po kaming tinatago dito at hindi po kami magtatago dito sa investigasyong ginagawa ng Blue Ribbon. Mr. Chairman, let me submit my sworn statement to the committee detailing my knowledge of the project, which I request to be considered and made part of the record of these hearings in aid of the committee's final action. Uulitin ko lang po, wala po akong tinatago, pinagtatakpan, at hindi ko po tatakbuhan ang ganitong hamon. Sa sabayanang, sabayanang Pilipino, sundan po ninyo ang investigasyong ito upang mapapak mapakinggan ang bawat panig at malaman ang katotohanan sa proyektong ito. Marami pong salamat, Mr. Chairman.